Hello everyone, welcome to Tabor Talk. So everyone knows I am a huge MMA fan, UFC. There was actually a big, uh, big night, uh, UFC 241. Uh, Nate Diaz came back and won, and uh, Daniel Cormier <coughs> lost to Stipe Miocic. I didn't see it, but I, I love press conferences after the fights. I love Dana White and the guys. It's just amazing. So, Nate Diaz came back, his return, and he was victorious, and he won. I'm a huge fan of Nate Diaz and Nick, too. The Diaz brothers, right? They're the best. Um, not the same Diaz brothers from Scarf's. Remember Scarface? Fuck Casper Gomez and fuck the fucking Diaz brothers. Fuck them all. Different guys, as you know. A little comedy there. Okay, so, Nate and Nick Diaz. Nate came back, and you gotta see this press conference. So, Nate is not an intellectual, or right, he's not, you know what's interesting, Nate speaks like a, you know, like, just like a street guy, you know, he's got no education, whatever, he's a fighter, and he looks like a fighter, you know, um, but he, but in the ring, he's smart, people don't know this, fighters are smart, like, jujitsu, you gotta be smart to, to absorb that stuff, this is, you know what jujitsu is, Brazilian jujitsu, it's chess, it's chess with the physical body, these guys are as smart as chess masters, even though they don't speak the king's language, these guys are brilliant. Uh, George St. Pierre. But so anyway, I'm just going to play this piece of Nick, Nate Diaz uh, on, at a press conference on, on ESPN. Know what's really funny? Dana White says to Nate, he goes, like, try not to swear. All right, because this is like television. Like, like, try to work on that. It's hilarious. Watch. Ready? Let me turn this up. This is Nate Diaz. He's fucking hilarious, right? The Nate Diaz supporters still out here in Jones. I know Joe Rogan wanted an answer on your immediate fighting future. Uh, would you like to get another one in here before we close the book on 2019? Uh, well, I don't even know what month it is, but yeah, whatever. Uh, I want to just get... get um, I don't even know what month it is. Get something done, yeah. I'm in no hurry, and I'm not trying to sit out either, so... Uh, we'll, Wake up tomorrow and see what what happens. All right, Nate, I got to tell you, it was very clear to us, the viewer, that Pettis was starting to fade. Were you it's able clear, to feel right? that in the fight? And if so, when? Yeah, I felt him a little up and down. But he had a little comeback for you. That was, I feel like if I would have took it down a little bit and then been more like picking it apart, but then I also felt like 15-minute fight isn't enough time for Look that. Look at his so face, man. It was like, That's no, a fighter so for you. Was, when he was breaking down a little bit. Uh... I just kept I just kept the pace and just never stopped. I feel like if I eased up and just watched stuff a little little bit. Can you imagine being in high school a guy I like I remember guys like that? To him, but, uh, I'll, I'll shout. I also don't feel like I have enough time. Imagine this guy picking on you, getting a fight with this I'm guy in high school. I had you win exactly you what you, you did. Up, I was man. surprised with the wrestling. That was uh, you've been working hey, your wrestling. Hey, D100 right here, baby. <laughs> I got uh, I got. Uh, how many? I got like three or four D1 wrestlers in my gym. I didn't even notice. I didn't even know what that meant. <laughs> but I got, I got like four D1 wrestlers in my gym every day, and they're like, blue belt, blue belt, blue belt. One of the blue belt, and he was in there trying to rough me up all the time. And I'm like, blue belt, you ain't going to take me down. So I put him on the wall, and I'm wrestling him down. His name is Logan Paxson. I'm wrestling with him every day. Come find out he's a D1 wrestler, and he's smoking everybody. He's like, and then uh, I got another guy, Nick Maximoff. He, he, he fights at 185. He's like 3-0 right now. He's a D1 wrestler and a brown belt jujitsu. And then um, what's it? A Jags is in there. Trey, my man, he's D1. So I'm just wrestling all these guys, and I don't know wrestling credential like that. I never did, and I should have. And then uh, they're bringing their friends in. And uh, boy, I got wrestling on accident. I don't even try to take people down. <laughs> so after the fight, you and so if you want to come wrestle, pull. The uh, pardon my language. That's right. Well, they they right. a little late. Uh, so guy. you and Anthony Pettis had a little bit of a conversation in the Octagon after the fact, and I think a lot of us who know you guys outside the Octagon feel like there could be a good kinship there between you guys. What did you say to Anthony, or what did he say to you after the fact? It was just like the, the uh, especially after a week like that and the past few years of, of whatever tension. Right. It's just like it's it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? So. It, it was all, it was all, it was all, Sorry for it's all finished with. Do you accept the truth? It sounds like. Yeah, I felt like it was the truth to begin. For me, it was, it was no hard feelings. I came back with all due respect like that. Like, I picked that fight because it was a dangerous fight and it was a real fight. And uh, those are the kind of fights I want. I want to be involved in real fights. Because I'm a real martial artist and I want to fight real martial artists. 
who've been around, who, who, who've been in the game for a minute and uh, are able to stay in the game. For one, that's a big part of it. You have to appreciate that. You could have ups and downs and ups and downs, and you're still, he's on top of the game. Yeah. Right now, still after how long he's been in, because I've been through waves of people who've came in and been champion and gone. Right. I was before NUSC, before everybody got there. I've been in there before. I remember when John Jones got here. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, I've been on downhill and uphill and down. I'm still, who knows? You know what I'm saying? I'll probably be here in 10 years. Who knows? Yeah, hey, Nate, I have a question for you. You know, obviously, you've been in the game for a long time. And let's, let's give credit to the, to the old school dogs. How big of an impact has your brother Nick been dogs. in your career? And Nick's the best fighter in the world. That's his and brother no Nick. Love, no love, love Nick. For him, as far as that goes, too, from these fighters out here, nobody's recognizing, stepping up, and saying, and recognizing that, putting their recognition out there. You know, is that a word? Recognition. Sure. Recognize, oh, recognize, I love you, you know Nate. Don't worry about and, it, Nate. Uh, as long as you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, just like the Masvidal thing, I recognize that he's been in the game as long, as longer right. than me, even, and uh, and I could appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know him. So it, uh, if it's like I want to fight anybody, it's like we've been fighting everybody. You can't and help I'm still swear. Here, still on top of the game. Not some new ass champ that's been here for two, sure. two, two years, three years. Cause you know what? I already been seeing you three year, three years, and you're a champion. And then hey. All these champs right now, we'll see where they're at in three years. I bet you I'll still be here. They're going to be gone. We know you're training all the time. You live this consummate martial artist lifestyle. But did you miss the fight game, the active live competition, the buzz of the crowd? Did you miss it the last three years? It's not really like that. It's not like some weird feeling like that for me. It's, uh, it's, uh, I got a lot of good stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I got all kinds of going on. I got, a, I got. All, I don't even want to get into what sure. it is, but I got all kinds of stuff going on, and that's just too easy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nothing is, is uh, nothing gives you the feeling of of getting out here and getting a job done. And it's like when you're in it, you're like, what the f did I come sign up for this for? Right, right. I don't enjoy this at all. Well, right. Because that's what you have to do. I enjoy it, right? No, I don't enjoy it at all. But I do enjoy getting done. What I've been doing for so long, right? George St. Pierre always used to say he loved training, but he absolutely hated fight night. You know, yeah, well, he's, he, he's scary ass. <laughs> What's that with George him? Is he yeah. fighting anymore? He's done? Well, the focus is on you tonight. Yeah, I think he has crossed that bridge. He's he's retired. Diaz yeah, brothers don't yeah. like George St. Pierre. Uh, so have you talked to Nick? And, and, unless, of course, you have a the Diaz brothers are the bad boys. And, and, and George St. Pierre is an all-American guy. I'll shut up. In a fight ever, I don't want to pick, I'm not trying to pick on some guy who's done it over with, but if he need, if his ass is out hiding out the game with his indecisiveness, yeah. he, him and Nick should step up in the game and step two OGs, get back in here and get it done like it's supposed to be done. Because they both, he always puts these little hints out there like he still want to be fighting. And he's in and he's out and he's still training people. Doing. If right. you're gonna do it, do it. Uh, was Nick here tonight? Yeah, Nick was here. He was here in the crowd. Did you talk to him after the fact? <clears throat> no, I'm gonna meet up with him right now and uh, go get go get all the uh, criticism I need. <laughs> well, do your thing. Any final thoughts for Nick, for Nate before? First we of all, congratulations. I'm excited for your next fight, Nate. Congratulations. It. Congrats. Tell Nick what's up. Thank Good you. job. You really carried the load for this fight week. It was great to have you back. Congrats on a monumental win tonight. We hope it's not three years before right. we see you again, Nick. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Nate Diaz hey, man, I love on you. On ESPN okay. Plus. Thanks for watching. You gotta love Nate Diaz, man. That's a fighter for you. Now, um, uh, and, and Nick Diaz. Did you know, by the way, talk about discipline and training. Nick Diaz swam Alcatraz. I think four times, right? You talk about savagery, Alcatraz, sharks, back and forth. I mean, we're talking about guys who are just savages, just warriors, right? Um, and okay, I'm almost at 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed that. Diaz brothers, man, Nate and Nick Diaz on Taper Talk.